Hello guys and welcome here to the Carvana Wild Card Series race number nine here today from the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I'm Brian James up here with you today for what is I guess considered to be a marquee event on the schedule. However, it is not marked as such. Unfortunately, there are no double points or double playoff points rather up for grabs today but still a lot at stake everyone here wants their chance to kiss the bricks at the end of the day it's going to be a little different than what you've seen you're going to see it on the knockout qualifying speeds we're going to show you that in a second anyway starting on the poll today will be audra baranoskis in the number 11 and starting on the outside will be Tony Green in that number 2. He had to race his way in. Here are the other guys who had to race their way in. Here's the knockout qualifying results. Nathan Page, Tony Green, Ian Johnson, Brad Stover, L.W. Wright, Karen James, Matthew Logan, and Francis Hawes all make it in. And one thing you may notice, lap times are almost at 60 seconds. They've slowed down because there are restrictor plates on these cars for this event. <coughs> Excuse me. Anyway, because of that, obviously lower speeds, it's going to involve a lot of drafting today on these guys' parts, which should make the racing a little bit tighter, a little bit more interesting. We'll see what kind of impact that has in just a moment. We will be right back here on NCN. Here we go. Welcome back. These guys ready to go here. As you see the starting lineup on the side of your screen, or you've seen it on the side of your screen. One of the marquee events in the one of the marquee tracks on the NASCAR schedule. Hosting today the Carvana Wildcard series. Who is gonna kiss the bricks today? That's gonna be determined in just a second. You see the pace car is off, the crowd is on their feet. As Audra Baranoskis and Tony Green lead us to the green flag, we're underway from Indianapolis. The 11 and the 12 get out to the early advantage here. And so far you see the drafting. Really key. The sooner you can get single file, the faster you're going to go. Obviously, you see the 18 now break free of the pack behind. And now we're going to see if they have anything for this number 11 of their Audra Baranoskis. And you see right there, they only have to lift, really. You see behind them, a battle for second. Zero, Dylan Ibrahimian, with sponsorship for this race from Crown or Royal Crown Cola. He just didn't have the drafting help, though, to get around Karen James. That was for the 
third position. Back behind, Tony Green is looking for the uh, fourth position. And now the 27 for Odemar Otts to the inside. He's going to look to get around that 18 of Henry Williams. He can't do it. You notice, though, a lot of these guys can't really do anything without that draft. And right there, they get a little bit hard on those brakes. And you see there, the 18 hung up on the outside lane. That's how you're going to get some passing done here. Up front, we missed a battle for the lead. The new leader is now the 12 of Greg Graff. Another thing to note. These Cup guys will be back here. This is their regular season finale. What you see here today is what you're going to expect for the Cup finale. A lot of these Cup guys also racing in a short amount of time. Actually, now that I mention it, the Cup race will be released, I believe, at 3 from Auto Club. Stay tuned for that. I'll be calling it here safely from NCN headquarters, so no need to transfer there. The rest of these guys are going to need a hyperloop to get there or something. As it's an auto club. Yeah, the Caravana Wildcard Series, on another note, will not be back until Friday. And at Friday, we'll be running at Mid-Ohio. So we hope you'll tune in for that. And then I believe Saturday from Martinsville, Sunday from Boston. And then Monday from one of the road courses, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I'd have to double check the schedule. But up front, we just saw a battle for second. Karen James takes that second position away from Audra Baron Oskis. And behind them, we have a wreck out of turn two. Huge wreck. Collected a lot of cars. Samet Ozcon, the 16, Rick Johnson, 81, Carter Friesen. Bunch of cars on that pit lane, all torn up. Ian Johnson, the rough start to the season continues. Karen James was just starting to reel in that 12 as the caution is out and they race back to the line. Let's go see what happened. Devin Blue had no idea that that 98 was coming at such a fast rate. And he gets hooked here in the 98, just trying. I, I don't think either of them lifted. And the 87 slides hard up into the outside wall. And then the 09, nowhere to, I, I, I wouldn't say nowhere to go, just kind of couldn't see where she was going maybe and T-boned him. And then the rest of these guys just getting bunched up, nowhere to really go, and you see there's 16. Did the 16 avoid that wreck? The 81 there, Carter Friesen damaged. That's right, I'm bored with that 16. And see, did he miss that wreck? See, they're three wide out of the corner. If this was an Indy car, you would have wrecked. So let's ride on board with Rick. No, he avoided that. Ran over a bunch of debris, but he avoided major damage in that wreck. Big, or I'm sorry, great job for that 16. Let's take you back to the green. We're going to have a cycle of stops. All the leaders pulling in to make their stop. So if the fuel window is six to eight laps, they might just be able to make it to the finish. We will see. Oh, 
40 smacks the 12 on their way in. Baron Oskis will have the benefits of the first pit stall. We'll see if that helps them at all. Right sides are going to go on. See there, Karen James out and away. And she will gain the race lead. Right sides only for the 11. They will come out in second. Let's take you back to the green. So the lap before that wreck, the 29 of Alan Rogers blew a motor. His day is done here. And then Cement Ozcon, Matthew Logan, Devin Blue, Ian Johnson, and Carter Friesen all done for the day after that wreck. Tough break for those guys. Up front, it is Karen James who will restart in the race lead. Audrey Baranowska is second. Rodemar Otts third. Henry Williams fourth. Adam McDowell in fifth. Tony Green in sixth. Seventh is William Brock. Eighth is Greg Graff. Ninth is Andrew Olson. And in tenth is Tyler Faden. Greg Graff lost seven spots on that pit stop. We will see how they rebound now. As we are now half past the halfway mark at the Brickyard. Not too long from now, we'll find out who will be kissing the bricks as the green flag waves back underway. Already the 11 pulls to the inside. We'll think twice. And if she wants the race lead back from Karen James, she's just going to have to have someone behind her draft. to help see there are 20 pulls out of line and we'll get right back in and here we go for the lead and now Audra Baranowskis has a little bit of drafting help from that 18 but they're side by side and the 11 will clear out of the corner Audra Baranowskis to the lead Yeah, any passes are going to have to be early in this run. You see there another pass about to happen. The 27. Rodemar Ox looking for second. This cup season he has struggled so far. Hoping to get a win here today on the Carvana side of things. And you see there, he's got a lot of drafting help compared to Karen James. And they're all going to blow by that 40. That 40 has absolutely no help to that outside. You see there, they're all still sticking to that inside. She's going to lose a handful of positions. And now Karen James able to get back in line. Greg Graff going to have to tuck back in behind him. She falls to fifth. Back behind, we had a battle. And now Francis Hawes moves up to sixth, or seventh, rather. Back behind, or back up ahead. Henry Williams just got around Frodemar Otz. That was for second. And Henry Williams will now try to catch the 11. And now here comes Adam McDowell in that 60. Keep in mind, a Roush car already won with restrictor plates on the cars this season. That was back at Daytona. And not to mention, it was in those city financial colors. It was not Adam McDowell, though. That was Rick Johnson. What would it mean... For Roush Fenway to sweep the two marquee events on the schedule. I'm sure it would mean a lot to them, especially as Carvana enters a little three-day break so we could focus on the Cup Series.
Roger Baranoskis, though, has checked out on the field. And now the 18's got the back end of the draft there. We shall see. Will the 18 have anything to say for that 11? And if they could just get the draft down the straightaway. If I was Audrey Baranoskis right now, three to go. I'd be swerving all over that front stretch trying to prevent a draft. See now, 18 closed a tenth that lap. Keep in mind, about when you're about a half a second behind, you're able to get a better draft. And here comes the 18. They're going to be bumper to bumper coming to two to go. Or there could be a pass for the lead before that. The 18 looked. The, the 11 said no way. <laughs> so we come down the front stretch. Two laps of racing to go. And it looked like the 18 had to check up. Out of turn four. Because that 11 blocked. Because he lost about half the ground he gained right there. But now he backed up to the 60. Maybe that was the plan all along, to back up to the 60 car with Adam McDowell. And the 60 could help him get around the 11. See there, the 11 tried to swerve a little bit to lose the 18. But here we go, another chance here in turns 3 and 4. And he backs it down again. And the 18 is coming to pit. He doesn't have enough gas to get to the finish. It's on Adam McDowell now as we come to the white flag. One more lap to go. That is a tough break for the 18 team. Now the question remains, will these guys have enough gas to get to the finish? Anyway, Audra Baranowska, she's not going to get caught, it doesn't look like. She was your Daytona 500 pulse that are a major accomplishment by any standard. She also won a race, I believe, on the cup side. Don't quote me on that. But out of turn four, Audra Baranoskis is going to win a big race today at the Brickyard. At last check... Audrey Baranoskis has zero career cup wins, but how about a win on the Carvana wildcard side to get things going? Keep in mind, I'm a little bit uh, confused now with all the records with two series. Man, had that 18 had enough fuel to go to the finish, this could have been quite a finish. The Baranoskis with the CJM team an underfunded organization. She gets the job done today. Congratulations to them, and hopefully that success for Baranoskis today will continue to translate onto the cup side of things. We want to thank you for watching. We're going to take you to results and standings, and we'll see you at Mid-Ohio on Friday. Goodbye, everyone.